right guys back with another one this is an overview and a review of my Castelli Nanoflex 2 bib tights I use these in conjunction with my Gabba 3 stroke perfetto short sleeve jersey and my Nanoflex uh, arm warmers it's a full Castelli outfit for me but it's the one that I go to come the worst at weather especially up in West Yorkshire we can have some nice weather before we hit the ascensions and at top of hills on the elevation that we've got we can have a total different weather forecast so is what it is I like to go to these as my do-it-all cycling garm so just want to give you a quick overview we'll have a gander at what Castelli states these bib tights to do we'll give a, a rundown on what they say so the Castelli Nanoflex 2 bib tights Riding in the rain can be fun and the Castelli Nanoflex 2 bib tights can go a long way to prove this. The Nanoflex material that makes up the entirety of these tights construction provides outstanding warmth and water resistant properties that will have moisture beading right off the surface of the tight. Does it bead the water off? It most definitely does guys. The water resistance and warmth combination means this tight is perfect for riding in temperatures ranging from 6 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius on the old Mercury. Now, what I do want to state is they will go lower than that. They will go lower than the 6 degrees that they're advertised at in conjunction with uh, a base layer. So, if you're worried about the temperature rating, don't be. I've had them out in sub-zero and they're fantastic. They have got a micro fleece sort of lining inside them that aids in the warmth keeping the warmth in they are great so moving on zip fasteners on the ankle with an integrated reflective strip make the tight far easier to get on and off while also aiding in your visibility speaking of visibility the Castelli graphics on both legs provide a subtle but effective aid to your visibility on the road not extremely reflective as Castelli puts it but they will shine a bit of light off and keep the the other road users aware of your presence preventing the tight from riding up they've got these silicon grippers on the bottom hem on ankle zips uh, while also creating a seal around the shoe cover so you don't have to worry about any bare areas of your skin what else do they state so it's the Nanoflex material as usual with any Nanoflex material you've got to be a little bit cautious when coming to wash your garms. You've got to make sure you're on a low temp. I usually have mine at the 30 degrees Celsius and I think that's the maximum rating with the Castelli Nanoflex garms. Make sure you don't bleach, use any softeners or any sort, slap it in your washer, make sure you're on your 30 degrees and that should keep you safe. Make sure it's drip dry afterwards and if you need to rejuvenate revigorate whatever you want to call it the DWR proofing on the garm make sure you get your hair dryer out and give it a once over or keep them relatively close to a radiator not actually on the radiator end of day you've paid good money for them good garms good money make sure you look after them this one's been with me all year like in my previous vids I do keep the tags I don't know why it's just something I do with tags it also gives you a little rundown on your Nanoflex fabric so I'll read it out to you Nanoflex coating prevents water droplets from soaking through the fabric drops of water stay on top of the fabric or bounce off without leaving it a trace without leaving a trace then it goes on to state just like what I've previously said do not use a fabric softener this can destroy the water repellent treatment I suggest you hold on to these tags guys because they does aid you in obviously a bit more information these Nanoflex bib tights do come with a definitely a credit to the, the, the bib tights is a KISS air seat pad for those of you out there who are crunching big miles especially up into the Century Territory that pad works wonders keeps your nether regions nice and comfy it's, it's a godsend you know, kiss air, <laughs> it's an appropriate name. Your kiss air pad. Kiss air pad, kiss air seat pad. 
So we're going to give it a, just a look around on, on bib tights and we'll take it from there. What have we got? Right, so your reflective, your reflective strip there over your ankle zipper. It's a YKK zip. Acts as a storm flap, keeps the draft out and the water out. Opens up quite wide, I'd say it comes up to about 8 inches up your ankle, from your ankle. Aids in obviously getting it on. If you can see that there, you've got a micro fleece fabric in there. So that definitely aids in wicking your sweat away. Keeps you nice and cool. Cool, calm and collected. This material here on the ankles there, right on the bottom hem there, you've got... It's almost like a stitching, but it's got like a silicon rubbery feel to it. That prevents it from riding up. In all fairness, I don't know if these zippers were actually needed. I think Costelli could have made them without the zippers, and it'd be it'd be less hassle. You know, it's it's just another it's another part that could go wrong. I mean, they've worn well for me over a year. However, you know, two years, three years down the line, you're paying big money for them. I expect my garments at this price bracket to last a lot longer. So, no issues with zipper. However, I think they could have done without that, and just that silicon silicon finishing there on bottom right moving up up the legs you've got castelli's branding castella and nanoflex the nanoflex part seems to be stitched on to a separate tab and then stitched on to the actual bib tights i don't know why they've done that they could have also done it for same as the the print on there the reflective print probably because it'll be more durable to see the nanoflex than it is with that. Why they couldn't have done that is another issue. That's if I'm being real picky. Turn them over. Just straightforward Castelli branding on your right leg, is it? Or is it your left leg? That That's your left leg. So Castelli branding reflective on your left leg. Moving down, if I can show you, you've got, if I can get a little contrast on that, what, that light coloured background on me makeshift studio here. There. You've got a mesh upper torso part. Stretchy material, stretches a fair bit. Doesn't dig into your shoulders too much. Not for me. Not an issue. Stick, I stuck to sizing chart on these at size large they are. Stuck to sizing chart and they were fine for me. Some people say go size bigger. That's subjective. I'm quite, I'm, I'm easy with them. They fit me perfect. I'm tolerant of any, any, Hot, there's no hot parts to be honest with you. There's no pressure points on top there, so I'm all it's fine for me. The arm mesh helps you top breathe. If there's any criticism, and I think obviously where you've aimed, where Castelli's aimed these at is for the colder months or the colder rides, that the torso, the top part could have come a bit higher up. That for me is round about on your, your belly button. If it had come up just a wee bit further up, that gives you a bit more bit more protection from the elements however the top half lets you breathe well and they are great I've had them down at sub-zero with a base layer thin base layer or a thicker one again it's subjective if you guys out there get really cold on rides I've got a bit of flesh to keep me nice and warm so thumbs up for the for the keep me warm flesh brigade out there <laughs> yeah who are carrying a few a few pounds like me however these are an absolute bargain at the price that I paid for them anyway. I paid £70 for them and I think they were on offer. So £72 I think they were from Evans at the beginning of the year. Last year, 2018, seen we're in 2019. That's what I paid for them and for me they're absolutely fantastic. So I hope you found it useful guys. Just make sure you watch out on washing instructions with them and they should see you with many years of service, faithful service at that. I've had no no problems, no issues with any chaffing. The pad's fantastic. It's lasted, it's kept me comfortable on 70, 70 plus mile rides. For those of you at the 100, I'm sure it, 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 it'll still provide the, the relative, the comfort that's needed. So are they worth the money at the discounted price I paid? They are, they're probably worth it at full price as well. For those of you who are, are able to have we got deep pockets that's fine again as usual guys like subscribe and share 
just let me know if I'm doing all right, if you found it informative. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.